popular uh, iPhone painting app. It's used by artists all over the world to create amazing works of art just using their fingertips. Equally amazing is the fact that Brushes is a one-person shop. To show you what he's been able to accomplish in just a couple weeks, I'd like to bring up that one person, Steve Sprang. Steve. Hi, guys. Good morning. Brushes is a simple yet powerful painting application designed for the iPhone. Artists of all skill levels have used it to produce countless paintings with just their fingertips. These paintings have appeared on the web, in galleries, and even in print. New York City street scenes by George Colombo have been used on the cover of The New Yorker on three occasions. Today I'd like to show you how Brushes looks on the iPad. We'll start here in the gallery where I've included a handful of original iPhone paintings. You can swipe between these and you'll be able to share them in a variety of ways. When you want to edit a painting, you simply tap it and it expands to fill the screen. Brushes takes full advantage of the new interface elements available in iPhone OS 3.2, allowing you to access your controls without significantly obscuring your artwork. The color panel has been redesigned to include an area for swatches where you can store your favorite colors. These can be rearranged and you can double tap one to quickly select it and dismiss the panel. Of course, all of your favorite brushes for, from the iPhone are available here too. You can adjust the size, the spacing, and the opacity. By pinching, you can zoom in up to 32 times. And by tapping and holding, you can activate the eyedropper tool, which allows you to pick up existing colors off the painting. Painting is as simple as dragging your finger across the screen. In this example, I'm removing the umbrella by painting over it with the background color. If you mess up, you can always undo. When you're done painting, just tap the gallery button to return to the gallery. On the iPad, Brushes is going to support in-app playback of your paintings. Just tap the play button to see a replay of your actions. I'm really excited about the possibilities for Brushes on this device. Artists have already done amazing things with the iPhone, and I think with this larger screen, they're going to have a true portable paint studio. I can't wait to see what they can do with it, and I plan to have Brushes available at the product launch. Thank you. Thanks, Steve.